appreciate the support from Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada through the Growing Forward 2 program for funding our project through Agrivita Canada Inc. and the Canadian Agri-Safety Applied Research Program. Pig farming has drastically changed in Canada. According to the Canadian Pork Council, in 2016 there were on average 1,900 pigs by farm compared to 91 in 1976. To keep up with the demand and enhance biosecurity, the industry has specialized. Intensity of the production and building confinement are now higher. Workers are spending more time on the farm, leaving them exposed to air contaminants for prolonged periods of time. Swine production facilities can emit several air contaminants, such as odors, gases, dust, and bioaerosols. Workers exposed to these contaminants can develop respiratory problems and infectious diseases. The health risks increase with time spent inside buildings. Once emitted into the environment, these contaminants can affect workers' families and rural communities. In the HERIN study, human pathogenic agents such as Salmonella, Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus and Clostridium difficile were detected in the air of pig buildings by using high-volume air samplers. Airborne Staphylococcus aureus was found in all visited farms. Third-generation Cephalosporin, Callistin and Zinc-resistant genes were quantified in samples as well. Bacteria harboring these genes might have been selected from adding antimicrobial agents in animal feed as therapeutic and growth-promoting agents. Following sampling and analysis by PCR and next-generation sequencing, the nasopharyngeal flora of workers was found to constitute an excellent marker of exposure to air of pig farms, as human pathogenic agents, resistant genes and bacterial diversity were specific to workers compared to non-exposed controls. Different reduction strategies for air contaminants were then evaluated, alone or in combination, for their efficiencies to diminish odors, ammonia, dust and bioaerosols in laboratory-scale pig buildings, experimental chambers, housing four to five grower finisher pigs in temperature and ventilation controlled conditions. In order to reduce these airborne contaminants, three technologies were selected. A V-shaped scraper for manure separation, oil sprinkling, and an air treatment unit. The three technologies were then tested together in a pre-commercial finishing room uh, with 16 pigs, which was compared to an industry standard room. The shape scraper is a very interesting technology. At the same time, it allows to separate the manure and reduce the ammonia emission in the barn. In the present study, results showed a reduction of 30% of ammonia emission. This technology is also interesting on an agronomic point of view because it allows a better nitrogen and phosphorus management. Oil sprinkling was mostly effective at removing dust and bacteria, with reductions up to 80% and 2 log respectively. Sprinkling was performed once daily with pure vegetable oil. An air treatment unit connected on the exhaust air of each experimental chamber and building was the most effective on odors, ammonia, dust with reduction efficiencies of greater than 70% of ammonia, 90% of dust and 80% of odor. The air treatment unit was designed by the Research and Development Institute for the Agri-Environment. It consists of a biotrickling filter where the contaminated air passes through a synthetic plastic media on which a biofilm grows. The air treatment unit was effective at reducing all the tested contaminants, but it only affects air exhausted from the pig buildings. Oil sprinkling and the V-shaped scraper were able to reduce contaminants inside the pig buildings, but were not as effective as the air treatment unit. However, to protect both worker health and rural communities, all three technologies must be used together. This is especially important in zones of intensive swine production.